I can't wait for the weekend to catch up with my b-boy crew. After studying all week, dance is a release. When I dance, I feel free. Even though you are having like a bad day, you dance with your friend and you feel connected and stuff, you know? There is a big history of hip hop and breaking in the west side. It was massive in the 90s. B-Boys came from all over Melbourne to B-Boy in the west. It was a way B-Boys connected and shared their passion and knowledge for breaking. 15 years later and breaking in the west is still going strong. Every night somewhere in sunshine, you can find us B-Boys coming together to train. Breaking classes in the Braybrook Sunshine area since 2010, I think, and it started with uh, Jacinda, the L2R, uh, Next Gen Inc. And we've been teaching in Braybrook Sunshine area for the past five, six years. We had one one gen of kids come through, which are the Young Masters, and now we got another gen of kids coming through called the Sending Kings, and they're the next kids coming up in the Sunshine area. Hey yo, we're Blue Kings and the Seven Kings and I'm Big Boy Rodia from Glover. We're family, we're all together, we grew up together. Uh, I'm at Vanjaro through basketball, I'm ready at Ultra Law, and now we're really close and we're like brothers basically, and yeah, we train a lot and stuff. We are like a family at Ultra We are all different culture backgrounds but we speak the same language. That language is dance. We dance, we dance in the west side. And breaking is a thing that we love to do. We will go around and find places to dance and we'll just pick a spot and dance there. And every young kids will just come there, dance, and sometimes we'll go play basketball to just warm up our bodies. Most of us met at l 2 dance run by Jacinta. El Tua is a not-for-profit dance school. El Tua and dance is just a perfect way to bond, right? Because he's a break dancer now, he gets exposed to um, older kids, you know, so he learns things like respect, um, he learns things like confidence. <laughs> Breaking that next level, you know, it's, it's always about encouragement. It just comes over like this. Never um, put each other down and, and say, oh, you, you stuck it up, you know? It's like, yeah, you, you almost did it. Yeah, you did it. When all these kids come together, they have, they have the same sort of dreams, you know? And, and therefore, they can help each other. It's all about the support, and, and also what does that. It's two hours on Saturday, now, that's not enough. In a breaky sense, I break every day, so. Anywhere that we train, we invite the kids over and the, you know, the young masters, they train every day even more than me. So there's always a spot in, somewhere in Sunshine, we'll find somewhere to break and it happens almost every day. And uh, that's, I think, something very unique that's happening in Melbourne right now. There's no other suburb in Melbourne that's got so many kids like doing their own thing. Like, I don't even know how many kids are breaking in Sunshine. That's how crazy it is right now. I rock up to something and there's like all these new kids that I've never seen. So, yeah, it's like an everyday thing for us, you know, there's two hours on the, on the weekend that I do for the org and, you know, I might get a payment out of that, but there's all the other hours that we do and that's like, that's just for the love, man. We all love doing every day. Oh. <laughs>